I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummy is tucked at the navel. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body. With the shoulders, relax downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes if that feels good for you. Taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seat of prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. That feels good for us. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Allowing the hands to relax on the side of the body. The palms are connected to the earth. Using our palms to connect with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, without judging, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and elongated. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, lengthening that spine. Tummies are tight. Interlacing those fingers with that pointed finger pointing up towards the heaven. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. We are in our seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, coming into that seated twist. If we choose, we can connect this left hand to this right knee, going deeper in that twist. Take a nice subtle breath here. Exhale back to center, flowing into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. As we twist the body towards the left, palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder, seated twist opposite side, optioning to connect that right hand to that left knee, going deeper in that twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathing our palms to our extended mountain. Palms come above our head. They are not connected. Exhaling our hands to our salute. Palms are together. Interlacing our fingers as we lean our body slightly towards the right, coming into a seated side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Tummies are tucked. You'll feel this stretch here in your side body. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, leaning the body towards the left, slightly gazing up at the heavens if you choose, opening up that heart chakra. You'll feel this stretch in your side body. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, breathing our body towards the right, coming into that seated side bend. We're going to allow our right hand to come downward towards the earth as our left hand Flows over that head, coming deeper into that side bend. 
We are working and stretching our side body here, allowing that right shoulder to relax downward towards the earth, completely relaxing that body. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that extended mountain as our bodies lean towards the left side, bend opposite side, allowing that left arm to come downward, left hand to come downward towards the earth as that right hand flows over that head nice and deep, allowing that left shoulder to relax down towards the earth, feeling this deep stretch in the side body, gazing up at the heavens if you choose, opening up that heart chakra. Exhaling back the center, coming into that extended mountain. Breathing our palms to our salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. When we relax our shoulders down, it allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies, relieving any tension we may feel in our shoulders or our neck. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bow position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, and our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a nice deep hip opener. And our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. So doing what feels best for you, diamond or butterfly, we are opening up our hip flexors here. Connecting our hands to our feet, if that feels good. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, we are in our bound cow pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat, breathing our chin to clavicle, tucking our tummy in at our navel. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Cat pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly. Using our hands to breathe our legs inward. We're going to straighten our legs, flowing into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and elongated. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Relaxing our palms on our laps. Fluttering the eyes slightly downwards or closing them if that feels good. As we are using our staff pose to take a moment to go inward and check on self. Four breaths of silence. Now on the toes to point downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex, ballerina's foot, pointing those toes downward, slightly hinging at the hips. We are in that half forward fold, connecting our hands to our knees or our ankles if that feels good. If we choose, we can flow into a complete forward fold, allowing our hands to connect to the bottoms of our feet. Our torso comes closer towards our thighs and our heads maybe relax downward towards the knees. We are in that complete forward fold or half forward fold, whatever feels best for you. Allowing the eyes to gaze down or close. Feeling this full stretch in your body, behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to half forward fold. Flowing back to our staff pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop down to cow. Tummy comes downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. This pose is good for low back pain. We're going to hang out here, three breaths, two breaths, flow into our cat, tucking our tummy at our navel, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, three breaths, 
two breaths. Lower back to cow. Exhale, cats. Coming back to our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back. Feeling that body longing here, lengthen. Both palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna work on our gluteus maximus by pulsing that left leg up and down. Yes, feeling that pulse, you'll feel your gluteus maximus, your buttocks rounding and tightening. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're going to extend that right arm forward. So right arms forward, left leg is towards the back. We are in that sunbird pose. We are balancing and strengthening here. As we are gaze forward, Three breaths, two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, bringing that knee into that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Blowing back to bird, two breaths. Coming to our hands and our knees, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe that left leg back towards the back. One more time. This time we're going to bend that knee with that foot up in the air. We are in our tiger pose. We're going to lift that gluteus maximus up, feeling that crunch. I'm sorry, feeling that, yes, feeling that nice gluteus maximus get nice and tight. Feeling that squeeze. We are rounding and lifting that buttocks. This is our tiger pose. Now we can go deeper in our tiger if we choose, balancing the body and connecting that left hand to that left foot. And we are in that tiger. Or we can bring that right hand to that left foot. We are still in that tiger. Or we can simply just hang out in this tiger for two, let's make it three more breaths. Whatever feels best for you. <sighs> Exhaling back down to that table. You'll feel that gluteus maximus feel nice and tight there. We are rounding and lifting. We're going to switch sides. Right leg goes towards the back. Feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we pulse that right leg up. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna extend that left arm forward. We are in our full sunbird as we are gaze forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow. Lower back to bird, two breaths. Coming back to table, we're gonna drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we extend that right leg towards the back. We're gonna bend that knee with that right foot up in the air. We are in that tiger pose, opposite side. You'll feel that gluteus maximus burn. And if we choose, we can connect that right hand to that right foot. Or we can bring that left hand to that right foot. Whatever feels best for you, we are in that tiger, working that gluteus maximus. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Lowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding pause, we're gonna push our body forward, coming into a high, high plank. Hovering over the yoga mat, we are building strength in our arms. Two breaths. 
exhale into low plank or chaturanga. Hovering over the yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale into a cobra or baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. And our baby cobra, our elbows are slightly bent. And our cobra, our elbows are straighter. This is a slight back bend. Chin is up. Exhale into down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, left to right. We get a pine spine out pause, walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Feeling that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Hands reaches down towards your ankles or the floor. Head melts completely down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here for three more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. Backs are straight, slightly gazed forward. Yogi walking the feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. As we flow back down to a complete forward fold, this time we are slightly wide legged. Maybe allowing our hands to connect to our elbows, flowing into that rag doll. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side if that feels good. Finding pause at center, half forward fold. <sighs> Walking our hands forward, breathing our feet back. We are in our damn dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. Feeling that stretch just for a second, we're gonna breathe that right leg up. We're gonna come into a pyramid, straightening that front leg. We are in that pyramid pose, torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. You'll feel the stretch here behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna drop our left knee down to, to the yoga mat. Dropping that left knee, relaxing that foot, coming into a half split. Bringing that torso away from that thigh, feeling that right leg go forward. We are in that half split. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head melts down over that leg towards that knee. Feeling that nice deep stretch. People also call this half split a half pyramid. We're gonna hold this for three more breaths. Exhaling back up to that runner's lunge, taking that left knee off the earth, runner's lunge. Exhaling back up to that pyramid, straightening that front leg, feeling that stretch. We're gonna connect this Right hand to that right ankle, lifting that left arm up, triangle pose. Feeling that stretch, lifting that arm up in the air. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Optioning to use that yoga block in the triangle if that feels good. Exhaling back forward. Coming into that pyramid, straightening that leg, bending into that runner's lunge, bending that knee. Holding this for a couple breaths. We're gonna take this left hand, place it flat on the earth, lifting that right arm up in the air, revolve, twist, feeling that stretch. Yes, whenever our body's twisted towards our thigh, it's called a revolve pose. Three breaths. Feeling a stretch, two more breaths. Exhaling, both palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna twist our body to the opposite side. Left arm comes up in the air, feeling that stretch. 
We are in that twist opposite side. No lunge twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. This twist, this arm um, pose can also be called an, an extended side angle. And then another extended side angle is when we come up, crossing that right arm over that thigh, and that one is up. Now we're in that high extended triangle. I'm sorry, extended side angle. Or keeping that hand down low to be called a side twist or an extended side angle. As we twist our bodies back forward, both palms are flat on the earth. Exhaling to down dog. Gazing at the feet, building strength in the arms. Walking out with dog, our pedal on our feet left and right if that feels good. <sighs> Finding our pose, we're going to breathe our left foot to our left hand. Opposite side, run this lunge. Ah. Straightening that front leg, coming into that pyramid pose. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head melts down. Feeling that stretch behind the legs and the hamstrings. Three breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna drop this right knee down, coming into that low or that half split. Right knees to the earth, straightening that front leg. Now on that torso to relax over that thigh, half split. Once again, they also like to call this half pyramid. Now in the body to lengthen and stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling that right knee off that earth. We are back in that runner's lunge. Straightening that front leg to pyramid. Feeling that stretch. Allowing that head to relax downward over that knee. Take a nice subtle breath. Exhaling this left hand to that left ankle. We're going to breathe this right arm up in the air. Triangle pose opposite side. Feeling that stretch. Optioning to use a yoga block if that feels best for you. Fill in this stretch for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and twist in the body forward, pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh. <sighs> Two more breaths, just fill in the stretch. Bringing that left palm flat on the earth. We're going to tw twist our body towards our leg. Left arm comes up in the air. Revolve, twist. Opposite side. Fill in a stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, placing that left arm. Left hand flat on the earth. We're going to twist the body to the opposite side. Right arm flows up towards the heavens. Feeling that twist, that side twist, or that extended mountain. I'm sorry, extended side angle. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that hand flat down on the earth. Coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhale into pyramid, straightening that front leg. Breathing back to run this lunge as we exhale to down dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe to a three-legged dog. Lifting that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. Gazing at that foot, tummies are tight. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to three-legged. Exhale, we're gonna breathe that right foot to that left buttocks, opening up that hip. Yes. Feeling that stretch here. This is a hip opener. And if we choose, we can flow into a wild thing. Flipping the body over and breathing that arm in the air. This is a nice deep back bend. Or 
we can just hang out in our down dog. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that down dog. Flow into three-legged dog, breathing that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. Flow into a pigeon pose, breathing that right foot in front of us, crossing it in front of us. Yes, feeling that split prep pose. This pigeon pose is a hip opener. It preps our body for split. To take a nice rest, we're gonna flow into a sleeping pigeon. Allowing that torso to relax downward towards that thigh. Feeling the shoulder blades melt forward. Head, forehead relaxes downward towards the earth. Maybe our hands are crossed in front of us with our third eye chakra, our forehead connected to our backs of our hands. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling our heart chakra melt forward. As we relax here in our pigeon, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three breaths. Slowly awakening from our sleeping pigeon, using our hands to push our torsos away from our thigh. We're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back forward, slightly gazing over that left shoulder. Maybe connecting this left hand to that left thigh, the back of the leg. Feeling that stretch. And if we choose, we can lift that left leg up inside of our hand. Working on that king pigeon. Yes. You'll feel this stretch within your body, behind your leg. Keeping that heart chakra open, that chin up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, relaxing that thigh, allowing that leg to fall towards the back. We are back in that pigeon pose, gazing over that right shoulder one more time. Exhaling back forward. I'm tucking that left foot. We're gonna flow back to down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, our pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pose, we're gonna breathe that left leg in the air, three-legged pigeon, left side. Gazing at that foot. Two more breaths. Exhale and left knee to left elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three legged. Left knee, left elbow. Flowing back to three legged. We're going to bend our left foot towards our right buttocks, opening up that hip. It's a hip opener here. And if we choose, we can flow into a wild thing. Yes, feeling that deep stretch. Oh, this is a nice deep back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, flow into down dog. Gazing at the feet. Coming back to that three-legged dog, left side, lifting that left foot up. Breathe in. Exhale, pigeon pose, crossing that left foot in front of the body. Yes, feeling that split opposite side. We are really opening up our hip flexors here today. 
If we choose, we can flow on down to a sleeping pigeon, allowing that torso heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. Fluttering those eyes down or closing the eyes, if that feels good. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Third eye chakra connects to the backs of your hands, if that feels good. As we relax here, silent meditation. Five natural breaths. Slowly awakening the body from that sleeping pigeon, using the palms to lift the torso away from the thigh as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feel the next spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, slightly gazing over that right shoulder. If we choose, connecting this right hand to the backs of our thigh, feeling that stretch as we option to flow into a king pigeon, lifting that right foot up into that right hand. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We can also flow into a mermaid by bringing that leg outward towards the side and cuffing that foot in the elbow. That is a mermaid pose. And a king pigeon is when our hand is in our foot. Both poses look very similar. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly releasing that right foot, allowing it to flow towards the back. Palms all flat on the earth. Gazing over that left shoulder one more time, feeling that split or that twist. Exhaling the body back to center, untucking that right toe. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the feet towards the hands, complete forward fold. Torso relaxes over that head melts downwards towards the feet feeling that stretch behind the legs three breaths exhale and half forward fold slightly gaze forward backs is straight breathing up to our mountain pose our tagasana palms are at our side Feet are connected to the earth. We are planted, we are rooted, we are grounded here. Allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here as we are standing strong and firm here. With those shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed downward. Feeling the power of standing strong, standing firm, and standing in who we are. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head in that salute, palms are together above the head, standing salute. Chin is up. Separating those palms, you're in that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated. Tummies are tucked nice and tightly. Breathing our palms back together, interlacing those fingers as our arms flow slightly towards the back of the room. Heart chakras open, chin is up. This is a slight back bend. Holding this for three breaths if that feels good. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing the palms at heart center, standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Here in our standing prayer, maybe take a moment to go inward. Maybe take a moment to ground ourselves. Soothe ourselves. Take notice of ourselves. 
during our sessions and throughout our days, we may have thoughts and emotions about the past and the present or the future. We may we take notice of everything that goes on within our mind and within our lives without judgment, always being kind and loving to oneself. As we relax here in our standing prayer, five breaths of salad. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, keeping our palms at heart center. You'll feel that stretch behind your legs. Backs are nice and straight, chin is up. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. We are in our prayer hands, but we can extend our palms in front of us. Coming into that extended chair. Three breaths. We are working on the lower parts of our bodies, building strength. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Twisting the body towards the right chair pose twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Chair pose, twist opposite sides. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Two more breaths. Exhale and up to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Just for a second here. Catching our breath. Two more breaths. Here in our Tadasana, we're going to take our right foot off the earth. We're going to cross that right foot over that left leg, working on that eagle pose. Bringing our palms and heart center, coming into a prayer. Or we can come into our eagle hands. Or we can simply hug our shoulders here in our eagle. Whatever eagle feels best for you, we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies as we are also balancing our mind and our bodies here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly exhaling out, coming back to that Tadasana, standing nice and tall. Head on our feet, walking our legs left and right, just relaxing that leg here. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Relaxing the body, two breaths. Allowing those fingertips to flow downward towards the earth. Allowing those shoulders to melt down. Feeling nice and heavy, just relaxing the body here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we take this right foot off the earth, we're going to work on that eagle opposite side, crossing this right foot over that left leg, slightly bending the body, bringing the palms to heart center, or coming into prayer. I'm sorry, coming into eagle pose hands. Or we can simply hug our shoulders. Whatever feels good for you here in this eagle. We are building strength and balancing here, opposite side. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly exhaling out, coming back into that Tadasana. Nice and tall. Cut on our feet left and right to so relax that foot. We're going to find our pause. Coming back to that Tadasana. Feeling those fingertips flow downward towards the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. 
exhale through the mouth. As we flow our palms above our heads in our standing salute. Leaning the body towards the right, we are in that standing crescent moon. Our palms are together, standing crescent moon. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Leaning the body towards the left, standing crescent moon, opposite side. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing to palms at heart center, standing prayer. Pinching at the hips, forward fold. Backs and straight, gaze forward, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, connecting the hands down to the ankles or the earth. Head melts down, four breaths. Exhale, half forward fold. Yogi walking our feet apart, creating that nice wide stance, coming into a wide legged pose. Bringing our feet towards the outer parts of the yoga mat. We are nice and standing tall here. Coming up nice and tall. The dasana, toes are pointing outward. We're gonna bring it, our bodies to cactus hands. We're gonna bend our knees, goddess, god stance. We're gonna continue to work the lower parts of our bodies here. We are building strength. We are toning and firming here. We're gonna hold this for four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up to standing star, straightening the legs, palms come out towards the side. That heart chakra's open, that chin is up. Feeling strong and firm and powerful here in our star. Knowing who, knowing who we are, knowing where we are going. And no matter how dark that path may go, May we brighten the night. May we brighten our path and be true and know where we're going. As we hang out here in our standing star, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to that goddess, God stance, bending those knees. We are in our cactus hands, two breaths. Heart chakras open, chin up. Lowering our hands above our head and our goddess salute. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. Bring that to no shoulders down. As we rock our body from side to side, feeling the muscles that we are working here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause, coming into cactus hands. Then pulse that body up and down, four breaths. We are toning and firming here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center. Exhale, complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down, allowing that body to relax and soothe. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Optioning to flow into a rag doll if you choose, connecting the hands to the elbows. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center. We're gonna do a cross body stretch. Bringing that left hand to that right ankle. We're gonna wrap this right hand behind our backs like we're doing our thread the needle as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our cross body twist, feeling that body lengthen, stretch, and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, hand forward fold, fingertips connected to the earth. As we cross body, stretch opposite side, 
right hand to left ankle, wrapping that left arm behind our backs, gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward fold. Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. Dropping onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed back at our feet. This dolphin pose is a headstand prep. We're going to hang out here five breaths. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Puppy pose, buttocks is in the air. Child's pose, torso relaxes between the thighs. So, whichever one feels best for you and your body, with that heart chakra coming closer to the earth. That third eye chakra, that forehead is connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward. Eyes are fluttered down the corner. As we relax here, child's pose or puppy pose. Five natural breaths of sound. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer. Child's pose, puppy pose, if that feels good. Three more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, extending our arms in front of us, coming into that extended child's pose, puppy pose, palms are flat on the earth. As we spine and wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. You'll feel this in your spine and your neck. We are rotating and flowing here throughout that spine. Decompressing and relax. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna come to a table. Knees or hip distance apart. Dropping down to cow, chin is up. Exhale, catch. Chin comes to clavicle. Flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks just for a second, we're gonna flow onto our backs, hugging our knees into our chest, knees to chest. <clears throat> Allow the shoulder blades to melt back to that yoga mat. Eyes are slightly gazed down or closed if that feels good. Hugging our knees. And to our chest, just taking a moment to love self. Two more breaths. As we bring our legs slightly outward towards the side, we are kind of like in a wide legged, just a little. We're going to breathe our feet up in the air, coming into a happy baby. We can bring our hands inside of our feet, bring them out to the side, connecting our hands to our feet. Here in our happy baby, this too is a hip opener. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. We can also rock that body from side to side using the earth to massage our spinal cord. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby and just get lost in the moment. Allowing those eyes to flutter down, that feels good. Simply just freestyling, doing whatever feels natural here in our happy baby for five breaths. Mm. 
three more breaths. Finding pause, straightening out legs up in the air, legs on wall poles, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. If we want to rest for the rest of the session, we can feel free to bring our legs up to an actual wall and just relax with the legs on the wall. Or if we want to continue to flow and our legs on an invisible wall, we're going to point those toes upwards towards the heavens. We're going to reach down to the backs of our legs. We're going to breathe our legs to our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Legs to torso stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale our legs back up on the wall. Breathing those knees into the chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, feeling that spine decompress. You may even feel a crack here. Allowing that right arm to come out to the side like a lowercase t. And we are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over that right shoulder. That right shoulder is connected to the earth. Our knees are relaxed to the left sides of our body. Feeling that spinal cord twist, decompress. We are just relaxing our bodies here with our eyes gazed closed. Relaxing in silent meditation or natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, knees flow to the right. Feel the neck in your spine as our left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase c. That left shoulder connects to the yoga mat. And we are gazed up at the heavens or we are slightly gazed over that left shoulder. Feel the neck spine. Simply just relax. Gazing the eyes down or closing them. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, bringing those knees into the chest, hugging them in, extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles, as we allow our legs to come wide-legged, legs fall to the side, recline, wide-legged stretch, you'll feel this here in your inner thighs, we are resting our hands in our inner thighs, lower legs, or we can connect our hands to our toes. And feel that stretch, whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to breathe our legs back together, legs on the wall. Breathing our legs to our torso, two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our legs into our chest, knees to chest. Keeping our knees up in the air, feet come flat on the earth, bridge folds. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are up in the air. Placing our palms next to our buttocks, palms flat on the earth. Using our feet to lift, tilt that pelvic bone up. We are in our bridge. We go deeper in that bridge, connecting our hands, interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing them together. As we walk our shoulder blades towards our spine, our chest, our torso comes higher in the air. We are nailing that deep bridge. As we come up deep, you'll feel that gluteus maximus, your buttocks get nice and tight. Yeah, so we are still working on tightening and firming our gluteus maximus, our buttocks, which is the biggest muscle in the body. But we can always lift and round that buttock, that gluteus maximus, if we work that muscle, tightening it and feeling that burn. 
So we can pause the body up and down if that feels good. And you'll feel that burn in your gluteus maximus. Or you can simply pulse it up and squeeze it nice and tight, nice and hard. And you'll feel that gluteus maximus get nice and tight. So whatever feels best for you, we're going to freestyle here in our bridge. Eight breaths. Feeling that burn. Six more breaths. Optioning to pulse up and down. We're squeezing it tight. Four more breaths. Squeeze, squeeze. Two breaths. We're going to pulse it down just a little. We're going to pulse it up and we're going to squeeze it tight. Squeeze, squeeze. We're going to do a bonus. Four breaths. Three breaths, two breaths, holding it, squeezing it, squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers, relaxing the buttocks down to the earth, breathing those knees into the chest, hugging the man, taking a breath. Exhale, feeling that body relax. Lifting the legs up in the air, breathing the legs to the torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale, the legs back up in the air. Breathing the knees into the chest. Exhaling down to our Shavasana, our rest pose. Legs are parallel side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are touching as we allow our feet to fall to the side like we do. Completely relaxing our thighs. If we have a blanket or a wrap, feel free to place it over our bodies to relax and soothe us, keep us nice and warm as we go inwards and wind our bodies down from our session here today. Fluttering the eyes, close or gaze in the eyes as we use this time for self, self-love. Five breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Exhale, rolling on to our side, coming into a fetal pose. Keeping our eyes gaze down and closed if that feels good. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips. Keeping our eyes gazed down if that feels good. As we use our top hand, we bring our bodies to a seated pose. If anyone wants to relax and stay down close to the earth, feel free to stay in the rest pose. Otherwise, we're going to come into a cow face legs, crossing our legs. And that cow face. Tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cord is nice and elongated. Shoulders are relaxed, melted down with away from the ears. Tummies are tight at our navel. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Noticing how that breath relaxes and soothes the body. As we breathe our palms, their heart center. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Using this time for self-love, self-gratitude. Two breaths. 
to more aggressive sounds. As we flow our palms above our heads and our salutes, feeling that stretch, heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing those fingers, palms flow slightly towards the back, arms flow slightly towards the back, feeling that stretch, chin is up. Exhale back to center, we are in that salute. Breathing our palms back down to prayer, relaxing those shoulders. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time itself. Now I'd like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights for you all. Namaste.